The Germans were inevitably attracted by these spectacular Italian successes, and by the spring of 44, had organized a picked corps of 10,000 officers and men. Their first successful craft was a one-man human torpedo. The real torpedo, the child, was slung below the mother, which carried it to within close firing range of the target. Every detail of the design and operation of Martyr was carried out with typical German thoroughness. A welded steel trailer assured rapid delivery at the launching point, and camouflage nets preserved the secrecy of the operation. Here was a fairly effective weapon whose mobility was such that it could be quickly concentrated for mass attack. As originally designed, the German one-man torpedo was purely a surface craft. Through inexperience, the first ones beached harmlessly at Anzio Beach without firing their torpedoes. They were the subject of more curiosity than alarm. But later, in the summer of 44, they carried out successful surprise attacks. The low silhouette of the craft running awash with only the dome visible made the run-in on a dark night relatively easy. But once he had fired his torpedo and his presence was known, he was quite helpless against counterattack. The Germans could ill afford to sacrifice their trained men, and the next craft were made able to dive. Martyr was found to be fully operable at depths up to 90 feet. It handled well and maintained an even course, with a speed of a knot and a half, as contrasted to a surface speed of somewhat over two knots. Her ability to dive thus immeasurably increased her effectiveness and the sturdy seagoing qualities of the craft underwater exceeded anticipations. The operators even found they could perform radical maneuvers without losing control. However, the operator could not see underwater well enough to make an attack. His run into firing range was usually made awash. Even under these conditions, Visibility was something less than ideal, making extremely close range necessary before the torpedo could be fired with any degree of accuracy. 50,000 tons of shipping were thus sunk or damaged in the last year of the war, an amount out of all proportion to the martyr losses suffered by the Germans. <laughs> 